as it is now it's a two horse race it's a two horse race and it's not looking so good for labor party the figures are so small in most polling units i see zero in fact zero with the labor party agent there's a labor party agent here in a Guagun health post and the, the labor party agent look at this oh this is serious <laughs> Oh my God. This is amazing. So if you go to Ovia Southwest, a Google health post, there's a total number of voters on the register to be 168. And total number of accredited voters is 102. And total number of ballot boxes in the polling unit is 168. Total number of spoilt ballot papers. Okay, that's zero. Number of rejected ballots is 16. Number of valid votes is 86. And then the total number of used ballot boxes, everything is 102. So there is no overvoting. But here is where it gets interesting. So, in this polling unit now, the Labour Party agent, whose name is Gabriel, Gabriel O.D., I think, with his signature, the Labour Party agent did not vote for Labour Party. The Labour Party agent did not vote for Labour Party in the Edo election. Why is this? What can be the explanation for this? It's either the party agent that was posted to that unit for Labour Party is not a valid voter or is, does not have a PVC. So the question is, how do you deploy somebody who does not have polling unit, a PVC, to a polling unit as a party agent. If the person is not invested in the election to the point that the person is willing to make sacrifices to register and get his PVC, what makes you think the person will be invested enough to be dedicated and passionate and committed to the party in the polling unit? What makes you think that? So this is just pathetic that even Labour Party agents did not vote for Labour Party in this polling unit in the Edo results. So many lessons, so many lessons for Peter Obi to learn. So many lessons for um, Olumide Akpata to learn. So many lessons for Nigeria. In fact, part of the lesson for Nigeria is this. Olumide Akpata paid 30 million Naira to get the nomination form on the Labour Party. That 30 million Naira is, aside from the money he would have paid to pay for her, uh, rent, for the offices, to pay for salaries of um, Labour Party officials, to pay for allowances and all that. And then it's also different from the money that he must have spent to run his campaign. So if the limit is actually 200 million, I can say give or take, he has spent about 500 million. So how will somebody spend 500 million naira and the person will now get the kind of result that Olumide Akbata just got? It is sad. It is sad. So, for Olumide Akpata, do you think that he will be encouraged to participate in the electoral process again? The only way he will be encouraged to participate is if he still has some of those free funds somewhere, which I don't think it is hard gotten wealth that he can use again. Now, aside from Olumide Akpata, do you think any sane Nigerian now that does not have the money that Olumide Akpata has, or that has it, would think to use his money to fund the election like this, where you have your own polling unit agents not voting for you. It is sad. Very, very sad. So these are lessons that we need to learn. The political parties in Nigeria must now begin to open up the political space. And how will they do that? They must now begin to reform such that nomination forms should be free. Is it possible for LP 
PDP, APC, NNPP to make nomination forms for any office, any political office to be free? Is it possible? I think it is easier for the camel to pass through the eye of the needle for that to happen. So what is the solution then? We need to form a political party. That's why the message is scrolling on your screen. Abundance Party of Nigeria. Join us. We want to create it. It's a political party of the people, for the people and by the people. One of the core ideologies of this, our new political party that we need you to join us to form is that nomination forms will be 100% free. Any Nigerian should be free to run for any office, provided they are credible, they have ideas, they are passionate, and they are committed. All these big money politics must stop. And unfortunately, the only way to stop it is the political parties. And unfortunately, the political parties that we have in Nigeria currently, they encourage big money politics. Another solution would have been to do, to allow independent candidates to run for elections in Nigeria. But that would require electoral reforms. It would require tinkering with the Electoral Act 2022, which we should be tinkering. Right now, I would have expected that the National Assembly should have the bill if the Senators or the House of Rep members would not initiate the bill. I would have expected that candidates in the last election and well-meaning Nigerians would have started pushing for the National Assembly to amend the Electoral Act to allow for compulsory and mandatory transmission of election results from the polling unit direct to the IREV and also to mandate electronic collation of results so that all the regularization that is done at the ward level the local government level, the state level, and the national level will, will just be regularizations to confirm what has already been done. Because the automated one would actually be faster and less prone to human error than the manual collation. Even when there is hacking, which some people say they have concerns about, then you can now use the manual collation to corroborate, to, to clarify later. But we should be able to push, starting now, for electoral reforms to mandate the National Assembly, to mandate the electoral officials or the electoral umpire, which is INEC in this case, to compulsorily transmit election results from the polling unit. That's one. Then another thing would be if it is possible, we insert in there independent candidature once we're able to do this then we may not be able to we, we may be able to get rid of the problem of um, this uh, inability of independent candidates to run for elections but as it is now since we are going through the political parties changes need to be made at the political parties to guarantee that the nomination forms are free once we're able to have this we'll open up the electoral electoral space and then we'll have good leaders coming up. Right now, so long as it is still big money politics and the money is not available to think about it, less than 0.6% of Nigerians have 500,000 Naira and above, according to CBN. So it means that it is only less than 0.6%, or let me put it generously, only less than 1% of Nigerians have the ability to possess. 30 million to buy nomination form for uh, the governor of Edo like we have right now on the Labour Party. So if it's like that for all the parties, it's disenfranchising Nigerians from running for elective op uh, uh, office. And that should be changed. If it is not changed at the electoral reforms level by allowing independent candidates, then the political parties should actually make it a law in their constitution that nomination forms should be free. Like I said, it is easier for the camel to pass through the eye of the needle than for the political parties to do it because the people that are there now, they are already used to cash and carry politics. So what we as Nigerians need to do to solve this problem of leadership in Nigeria is to make sure that we come together, organize, and form a new political party. 
where one of the core ideologies which will be enshrined in the constitution of these are new political parties with conditions with punishment for breach of this ideology clearly stated in the constitution of the political party one of that ideology will be free nomination from for whatever the position whether it is from councillor to governorship even to presidency free nomination form this is the only way we open up the space and allow for popular participation allow for large voter turnout in election because they will now begin to see election as their own thing right now it is for the highest bidder and that discourages a lot of persons so if we are going to solve the leadership problem that starts from the political party we need to create a new political party where there's a level playing field nomination forms are free so we want to encourage you and call you as you go through the elections whether you're feeling bad or don't feel bad for me it is an opportunity for persons like peter obi it is an opportunity for nigerians like you and i to start strategizing and doing the right thing tinobu is defeatable in 2027 very very defeatable but we need to start doing the right things i it's okay if peter obi can reform the labor party even though i see that as a very tall order if the labor party is going to be reformed then part of the core reforms that must take place is that nomination forms on the platform of the labor party for any political office must be free it must be free anything short of that will still disenfranchise nigeria it will still continue to be big money politics and strong individual or strong persons politics and that will not help us it will only end in the rigging that we are seeing right now so join us let us create this new political party the link is in the description edo for me is done and dusted it looks like it's going to be a pdp call apc is hot on their heels let's hear the official results from INEC. but it's not the end for us who want a new nigeria it is just the starting point